Well, Lions fans, I got good news and I got bad news for this game. Good news is I got the score correct. The bad news is I got the winner wrong. So yeah, before I continue on, I'll get my crow to the Bills real quick. Good game, Bills. Actually, it wasn't that good of a game. It was some more shit. But either way, congrats on the win. Shout out to everyone in Bills Mafia. Congratulations on the win. Also, Bill Mafia, I heard I heard during the tailgate parties before the game, there was some table breaking going on. Good job. I'm proud of you. You finally stood up for yourself. But honestly, whoever fucking squealed on you in the first place needs to be fucking put through two tables. Because whoever squealed on you is a douchebag. Like seriously, if you have a problem with what the Bills Mafia does, then why the fuck are you a football fan in the first place? Either way, Buffalo, congratulations. I guess good luck the rest of your season. But yeah, on to the review. Like I mentioned before, this game was absolute shit. Only good players on offense today were Kenny Galladay and Sack Center. Stafford, he played meh. Like, we didn't do anything, mistake, any big mistakes. Except Matt Prater missing a 48-yard field goal. That would have gave us the lead. Um, turning point, this game was easily us missing that extra point. That was the big turning point. It gave Buffalo momentum there. You know, Buffalo was able to capitalize. Congrats to Josh Allen. He played pretty decent, too. Was really watching to see today, see what he can do. You know, a lot of quarterbacks in the draft, the two I have the most confidence in were um, Baker Mayfield and Josh Allen. Two I have for sure being stars. Allen will be a star in this league. Just got to work on his accuracy issues and give him some weapons. Good luck, Buffalo. Defense. Well, defense. I mean, the run defense was good. We were able to stop the run for the most part. Secondary was hit or miss. Like, one moment they were good. One moment they looked like shit. I think the easy example of them looking like shit was that game-winning touchdown for Buffalo. Because, like, seriously, there were three guys on that Buffalo receiver. And they couldn't even tackle him. Like, three guys right there. The receiver not only caught the ball. They couldn't even tackle him. But yeah, Lions lose 14-13. Not much to say for this game. Just a quick review. Fall to 5-9. and nine. We're officially eliminated from the playoffs now. Like, we're now mathematically out. But to be honest, we weren't even good enough to make the playoffs this year anyway. We were fucking trash. But you know, two weeks left. Divisional games. Honestly, I say we should just win on out because we pretty much fucked our tank up by beating Arizona. So fuck it, might as well just win out here. Went out here, try and finish 7-9, and nine, build some momentum in 2019. Like, you know, we don't have to tank. Like, if we end up out of the top 10 in the draft, don't worry. We have plan B. We have plan B because we're, keep in mind, I'll show on the screen somewhere over here. We have nine draft picks. Nine. Two sixth and seventh rounders. If we want to, we can go to plan B. Package a few picks together. Be aggressive. Make a splash. And trade up into the top ten. And to get somebody like a Devin White or a Josh Allen. The defensive tackle, not the quarterback. Josh Allen. Or Ed Oliver. Be aggressive. Like, I mean, look at Buffalo. How, look how aggressive they were in the draft, la draft last year. Like, you know, there's always a team every year in the draft that's going to try and trade out a top 10. Just got to find the right one. But, you know, yeah. And keep in mind, I believe Golden Tate might still be a free agent this year. Maybe get him back in Detroit if we have the cap space. And try and get some other pieces, I'd say... Like, my main focus in the draft is defensive tackle, or at least anybody on defense. But mainly defensive tackle, one that can stuff the run. So, yeah. I already gave you everything I need to say. I think I said everything about this game. Lions are 5-9. and nine. We're officially eliminated. We was 14-13. But, yeah. 
But yeah, we're not the only team eliminated today. Um, Buccaneers were also eliminated today, along with the Giants. Green Bay Packers got eliminated today, so happy Packers elimination day. Sorry, Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers couldn't bail you out this time. And Atlanta Falcons are also eliminated. Damn, Falcons. Another notch, up, another notch to that painful legacy of failure. There's... It's all right, Atlanta. I didn't predict anything big for you. Oh wait, I picked the Falcons to make the sec to be the second wild card. Shit, I should have just took the fucking Seahawks or the Vikings. And for the Packers, it's not like I predicted anything big for you. Oh wait, I picked the Packers to win the North this year. God damn it! I should have fucking picked the Bears. Also, speaking of Bears, congratulations to Chicago, all the Bears fans of Queen Judah Tribe on winning the NFC North for the first time since 2010. Really great defense. You're what? Well deserved. Congratulations. Good luck in the playoffs. Yeah. Also, on the AFC side, we had a couple. We had elimination. Um, Broncos are officially eliminated. That's actually my brother's team, so he's a bit sad about that. You know, Cleveland still has a chance of making the playoffs. Are we sure this is real life? Cleveland still has a shot at the playoffs. What? Also, LA Chargers locked up a playoff spot. Congrats to them. I mean, the Chargers are tied with the Chiefs. I think they can still win the AFC West, like I predicted they would. It's still possible. We're going to have to see you on the later games tonight. Uh, I think Houston should be locked into the playoffs soon. If not this week, then next week. But yeah, no, let's just try and get some momentum. Like, we got plan B. We got plan B. We always have a plan B. But yeah, I think I talked everything we need to. You know, I'll talk more about off-season stuff when it's the off-season. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Another disappointing game, another disappointing season. But hey, I think we're building towards something in the future. Just give Matt Patricia some time. Give him time. But maybe this loss ought to be enough to fire Jim Bob Cooter. Honestly, get rid of his ass. His fucking play calling is predictable as hell. Like, look how bad our offense has been since our win against Miami. Like, since that win in Miami, we haven't scored no more than 22 points in a game. Let that sink on how bad this offense is. But yeah. Fire Jim Bob Cooter, get somebody that Stafford can strive with, along with the offense. But yeah, I think I've gone on long enough. That's all I got to say. Hope everyone's a great day. I'll see most of you in Detroit next Sunday. Peace.